definitions of hormone replacement are pretty much another language. So let's see if we can get through the definitions to make it make more sense to you. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women. And let's talk about this one. The two big divides first are systemic or local. Systemic meaning that what you take in the form that you take it, and it could be oral, a patch, certain topical gels, actually make enough hormone that goes through your whole system, raise the hormone level in your blood system, and affect all hormone receptors throughout so you can have hormone benefit or risk from top to bottom. Local is when you usually use a topical estrogen in vaginal tissue, and it's not enough to raise the blood value of that hormone. It only affects the tissue that it touches if you use it as it's prescribed. So systemic and local are the first two. Then there's synthetic and bioidentical, and this gets super confusing. Synthetic is like a chemical structure that's made in a lab, and basically your body takes it in the way that it's given and has to convert it into something that's a little bit more hormonally active. Um, so it's made in a lab through chemistry, and then your body converts it. Bioidentical is also made in a lab, but it's coming in at the structure that matches what your own hormones look like. So your body doesn't have to do any conversions for it to be used in that form. Um, these generally come in compounded forms that you can get at specific pharmacies, which they are mixing and making them themselves in their own facility compared to FDA approved bioidentical, which usually come from some big factory and production line and are FDA screened for consistency in the dosing and the product overall, all right? So local, systemic, that's the first, synthetic, bioidentical, and then bioidentical splits down into compounded and the FDA approved.